back here on the program. Uh, listen, there are a lot of things in this life that are challenging to talk about. One of them is mental health issues because there's lots of different ways you can approach it. There's lots of new information. Everybody's touched by it. The statistics are alarming. Right, 20% of Canadians in their lifetime will be personally affected by that. It can grow in other ways, so we're not going to tiptoe around it in, in any sense. We're just going to dive straight in on the panel. Brendan McKeegan's here, everybody. <laughs> the legend Patrick McKenna. <laughs> and Augustin. So here's the thing. Here's why we can talk about it. All three of them are performing at something called Cracking Up the Capital. It's a comedy show to support mental health awareness, which is happening in Ottawa, your capital, the 5th to the 8th of February. You were diagnosed with ADHD, right? Yes, I was, yeah. So the moment you got the diagnosis, what was that like? It was relieving. It was great, because you, you always wonder, am I a, a screw-up, or what's the problem? So someone puts a label on it, at least you've got yeah. boundaries to work with. Were you cool with the label? Totally. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I was kind of hoping, because, <laughs> if, you know, otherwise you're just kind of a weird guy. <laughs> you know, I had no excuses. So it worked out really well for right. me. It's still one of those stigmas, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's so much shame, and uh, I think people get scared to say the wrong thing, so consequently they say nothing, mm -hmm. and that, you know, that creates more shame and more isolation, and it's just a, um, it just compounds. The fun thing is, I've been doing this, this is my third year hosting it, and I find the more you get into the community, the more they love to talk about it, because no one wants to talk to them about it, the, right. you know, so they feel alone, so suddenly you get in these groups of these people, and the jokes are so off-color and so dark, you yeah. know? You're never really sure where, to, where but, the boundaries that's go. The, yeah. That's the thing, right? It's, it's like you want, it's a comedy event, but in life, humor helps us get through most things. We know these are really serious issues. Is there a line that you have to walk? I think so. I mean, we were talking about it earlier, too. And I, uh, Brandon made a good point. Is it depends if you're talking about something or someone. We're a beautiful culture, but right. we're kind of a bit of a pissy culture, too. We don't like it when people change. <laughs> Canadians are averse to change. Maybe people in general are. And You'll see that label goes, oh, now you're being all PC. And there's a difference between being politically correct and just being correct. Yeah. Like more inclusive. Because I find if you, if you call a crazy person crazy, that's, yeah. that's a double negative, turns into a positive. Right. You know? You got to look at it that way. <laughs> that's, that's the upside right there. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a conversation, right? I mean, I mean the idea of going to a, an event like this, which is a really important event, but knowing you got to do jokes yeah. about what's it like. I think it's just a matter of just diving in. Like, some, you just got to talk about it. And people are always very dismissive of it. They, they, they just don't want to deal with it. Like, 99% of the time, people just tell you, just get over it. You need, you need to go out. Like, let's go have a beer somewhere. Yeah. And I mean, if, if those same friends were doing that, if you got, like, shot or stabbed, they wouldn't be very good friends, you know? Like, if you had a physical injury and, like, I'm losing a lot of blood here, like, yeah. just, you need a drink. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> like, that's, you got to get new right. friends, you know? We're going to find out how not to be a jerk when you're trying to be a jerk. Stay with us. <laughs> That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience, and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. We're talking about mental illnesses. Uh, pay close attention to the way we talk about it, right? That's important. Words. On Strombo.com, we put together a roundup with some of our Red Chair guests who share their own stories and how they've, they've dealt with mental illness in some way. The worst ways you can react when someone tells you that they have this diagnosis, uh, suggestions for how people dealing privately with these challenges can reach out for help. It's all on the website. So go to Strombo.com and we'll do that. Words are important, right? Yes, very important. Uh, we were talking about how uh, words like crazy and, you know, there's... Are they taboo words yet? I, 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 don't th I think it's b your intention behind them. Is there one that offends you more than another? Cray cray. Just because it's a stupid <laughs> word. I'm <laughs> really offended as a writer that that's an actual word now. So what's the <laughs> trick? What's the trick to walk in that line? How do you be a jerk without being a jerk? How do you do that? Yeah, I find oftentimes because I have ADHD, the stories are different because I'm, I'm talking about me. And then people can watch you go through it and they can enjoy the journey without being judgmental because it's your story, you're allowed to tell it. Right. So the larger I can throw that net and cast that net, oftentimes that incorporates a, a larger discussion, which is great. What's the worst way you can react to that kind of news? Point and laugh, very bad. <laughs> Having, phoning the police having committed, also bad. <laughs> That's bad. It, it is, it is bad. It's a terrible it, moment. It's bad when you, when you pity them, right. I think, versus uh, some type of concern or sharing something. Mm -hmm. Or oftentimes just going, oh, yeah, yeah, I have allowing it to be, my aunt is like that, and blah, blah. So they know they're not alone. Right. That, that helps that they're not become isolated. Well, ten seasons of doing this show and five before I worked that much music, the amount of people I've interviewed who've, this has been part of their reality, it's, it's, 
to high numbers. So, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously that some of the most creative, lovely people in the world um, have different realities. And, and, and the sharing and the openness about it, that's what's had the biggest impact. So the most magical words you can remember were the four words where I got your back. And you have to have your back for everything. So make sure you check out the show. It's called Cracking Up the Cat uh, Capital. So Patrick's going to be there, Anna's going to be there, Brendan's going to be there. It's a benefit for mental health awareness. Ottawa, 5th to 8th of February. And it's a, such a thing as the internet. You may have heard of it. Crackingupthecapital.com is the website. It's good to see you guys. Thank you so much. Good things, Canada.